tell me where Malcolm is. If the Terminator can't get to Malcolm, the children will be its next target. Malcolm, what are you scared of? Judgment. Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Terminator Zero Episode 1 Model 101. This is a new anime from Netflix uh, in the Terminator franchise, of course. So I'll be doing a review for this, uh, and I really enjoyed it overall. Before I get into any big details, I really enjoy this. Uh, so I'm going to keep watching, and then maybe I'll come back and do a follow-up video for the full season. I don't think I'll do individual episode reviews. Um, because it's only eight episodes and it's, they're about 30 minutes each. Uh, this is, you know, I can kind of drop this in like a four hour movie or something. So, um, but yeah, let me give you a quick synopsis here. Uh, in 2022, a future war has raged for decades between a few human survivors and an endless army of machines. Meanwhile, in 1997, the AI known as Skynet has gained self-awareness and began its war against humanity. This is directed by Masashi Kudo, written and developed by Mattson Tomlin, who is the writer of the Batman film and the upcoming Batman uh, sequel, as well as uh, some comics that I really enjoy. Uh, so I think this show is definitely in very good hands. Uh, let me go through the list of the stuff that I really enjoyed. Uh, I think, oh, this is also uh, by Production IG. So I think that's a really good partnership. Production IG does a lot of quality work. So, uh, especially when it comes to anime, right? Their animation is very, very good. Uh, so the show has, first of all, great music. They they use a lot of the music very well. Like it it really works naturally into um, into the the just the sequence of events that's going on. Uh, it's very like it looks great. Like the animation looks very very fun, uh, but it's also really violent. Like I, I think. Uh, they really go all out when it comes to some of the gore and the battles. Uh, they they pull no punches when showing you like blood or you know bodies parts exploding and stuff like that. Uh, it's got a good mix of two D and the and animation and the CG models that they use. Uh, sometimes I I feel like some shows overuse the CG and it really. I'm not a big fan of the CG animation overall, like completely, uh, unless it's like. Uh, yeah, aesthetically it makes sense but as for, for as far as anime it's not always usually my my cup of tea there uh, but i think here it works it's a good mixture uh it's also got a lot of fun callbacks and imagery and easter eggs from the films and you know other terminator stuff so i think you'll like that i like the dual stories of being in 1997 with a specific set of characters and being in 2022 uh i will say the show is definitely very slow pace there's a mystery that needs to evolve um there's events that are gonna happen along these i believe it's eight episodes uh that i think are going to be really interesting to follow uh but definitely a slow pacing for this first issue just to really allow you to live into in like these moments in the world uh it's very grim and dark in tone and also like the visuals specifically in the 2022 storyline uh very dark visuals uh we get some really fun cues as well and in, in the the way they reintegrate or they bring back the original theme of the Terminator uh, in the show, it just really, really works. So uh, one detail that I really noticed, we see a Terminator that's been uh, formed and they are walking across the facilities to go into the time machine because obviously that's the Terminator story. Uh, but the clanging of the feet as they hit the metal grates uh, that's a really cool detail. Sometimes I feel like uh, with the Terminators, they don't you don't really feel how heavy uh, the characters are, right? Especially when they're being played by a person. Like, it's hard to denote that. But in the animation, you have uh, the advantage of, of being able to add those extra sounds, right? So, I don't know. I thought that was a really fun detail. So, really, really excited for this. Really looking forward to seeing what else. Uh, these episodes can bring. Uh, I think there's there's some interesting characters, and and like with any anime, there's still like some stuff that seems like it may not be as important now, but I feel like it's gonna come back a little bit later. Specifically with the family aspect of it in um, uh, in the 1997 story. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm very much looking forward to continuing on this journey. So 
If you watched the first episode, let me know what you thought about this anime. And as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share a like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>